Hello everyone, welcome back to True Crime Weekly, and on this episode, we'll be talking about the case of James Johnson. On Thursday, February 27th, James was working at his office when he clocked out late and decided to head home. This was the last time he ever left his office. After leaving the office, James stopped at a Burger King. Here, CCTV footage would capture him ordering a double Whopper with medium fries. This was the last time he ever had a double Whopper. James then headed to the train station, arriving at approximately 11.30 p.m. He would then send the following message to his friend. This was the last message he ever sent. Bro, True Crime Weekly is just not good. The narrator is annoying and the editing is subpar. Many professionals have claimed that this was unnecessarily hurtful. Fingerprints and various CCTV footage angles then seem to confirm James being kidnapped by a masked figure. But now the question is, who could have done this and where is James? The leading theory pertains to an online blog run by Mr. Johnson called TrueCrimeWeeklySucks.blog. Many believe that a disgruntled fan of the highly rated show may have carried out the crime. Many even believe that the crime may have been carried out by one of the producers of the show. This is supported by the video that James released to his Facebook earlier today, where he said that the editing is actually well done and matches the style, and that the narrator really grows on you. Although he appeared to be at gunpoint, I do think he was making some great points. And finally, that brings us to the prime suspect, the narrator of the popular show True Crime Weekly. Authorities have his home surrounded and are currently waiting for the warrant to send in the SWAT team. He is theorized to be in his home right now, making a video about the James John situation. This was the last video he ever made.